Hello everybody and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take another common household waste item, in this case a pop can, and we're going to be turning this into this. Today the only tool that we're going to be using is the scissors that we used last time and sandpaper. That's it. So. The first thing that we do, we have our pop can, washed it out, easy. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna go outside for step one. Okay, so we're heading outside. It's a beautiful day right now. You can see I am at Workshop Studios. So we're taking our can and we're gonna go find some dirt, sand, anything really, any kind of soil. I'm just gonna take A little bit of this sand here. It can be sand, it can be soil, it can be anything. I'm going to put it in the bottom of our can. And then we're just going to start making a circular motion. And this is how we are going to get rid of anything that might be printed in the bottom of the can. But by doing this circular motion as well, we are creating the uh, patina for the inside of our bowl. So we've essentially used that dirt as a pumice to polish the bottom of these cans. So you can see the unpolished can, it still has the printing in the bottom of it. This one, polished, has a much more even finish. Before we start cutting this apart, I want you to take note of something on this can here. And this is the bead that runs along the bottom of it. you'll notice that there is a line there that kind of makes up the lip where the transition area is. This bead right here is going to be the guide for where we make the lip of our bowl. The next thing I want you to do, and uh, this is probably the only dangerous step here, so we are going to take our scissors and just punch a hole in it like that, keeping your hands clear. So punch a, a safe hole down into your can. So we've got our hole punched. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this can in half. So now that we have our can halved, uh, the next step is very simple. Take your scissors, cutting up, until we get to just past this curve here. And the next thing I want you to do is to cut around the can just along the base like this. So you will have just the bottom section of the can remaining. Now what we want to do is, remember this line that's right here? You want to cut up to just that line, but try to keep as straight a line as you possibly can going around in a circle. So just like this. Now we're going to grab our sandpaper. And then from the back, I'm just going to go around and clean this edge up. Sharp edges are gone. We have a nice rim on our bowl. We have the inside of the bowl. There's one thing left to do. So for this step, you're going to want to find a pen that has a flat circle on one end of it. And then what I want you to do is find what you think is the center on this bowl. Get your pen on top of it as centered as you possibly can. Don't, don't be afraid to take your time with this step. And then you're going to press just until you get the bowl to crease. There we go. That's all. Just a very light press. And we got the bottom of the bowl to flatten. 
Okay, so we have that step done and you can see the really nice impression in the bottom of the bowl and it looks just like a spun steel mixing bowl. And the other thing that they do really nicely is they nest. So you can stack your bowls just like your real bowls in your kitchen. Now this is a really good example of how working in miniature, this object basically already exists. It's already been made. We just need to remove the extra material and put a couple flourishes on it. We need to polish the inside, we need to cut the rim accurately, and we need to dent the bottom. That's it. And you have your very own miniature mixing bowl. And you can make a hundred more if you wanted to quite easily. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, in my next video, I will be showing you the essential tool that you need to accompany a bowl. So any guesses, let me know below in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Share this video with your friends if you think they'd like it. And uh, if you do make this object, please let me know. Send me some pictures, send me a video. I'd love to see it. And I would love your feedback as well. So until next time.